Hi everybody and welcome to the Underwater Realm vlog week 20. Slight change in format this week while Dave's working on other things. This week it'll be me talking you through some of the stuff that I've been doing for our upcoming project. As you know, the guys have been working on their paddy certification and getting trained as qualified divers and I've been kind of doing similar thing rather than playing in the real water I've been playing around with digital water well this isn't as exciting I've got a reduced risk of getting the bends which is always a plus first off I needed to create the actual sea surface itself which I used a free plugin for called the Houdini Ocean Toolkit now, I really, really recommend this plugin. It's available for most 3D packages, and if you follow the link underneath the video, you should be able to download one to whatever 3D package you're working on, and it's a fantastic way of being able to create a realistic scene. So, in the example I'm about to show you, I used it, and you can not only create something, um, create a wave pattern, it's also, you can also animate it, you can control the height, the speed, the wind, the choppiness, and quite and all the important parameters really. So here's an example of a sea surface I've created with it. The next important thing was how objects interact with the surface. And obviously when things move on the sea, they'll splash, they'll float, or in case of what I needed to check out were how boats create a wake as they move across. So I decided to do a little test. So I made a little boat and had it sail across the surface. And as you can see from this test, this is a really early test. We've got my little boat sailing across and as it's moving across the surface, it's creating a displacement, which is the wake. At the moment, it's nothing more than a bump, but from this, we can add particle effects to create splashes and the foam that goes around it. Now, the really important part of being able to create a realistic sea surface was for the purposes of lighting. Now you may have heard from one of Eve's previous blogs when she was talking about caustic lighting and tried to recreate that practically. So you can like notice it on the bottom of swimming pools or if you've ever been diving you can see it in shallow water on the seabed and these patterns that move across are known as caustic lights. So while Eve's been looking for the practical solution I wanted to be able to create a digital solution that really emulated the way it happens in reality. Now I've done it before um, as you've probably seen in the, the little title video that precedes each of the blogs and that was done using a caustic map which are basically two flat planes with a black and white pattern on them that m moves around and as those pass over each other and light shines through them it creates the caustic pattern needed underneath and it kind of works in the same way that a gobo does on a real lighting setup but I wanted to be able to do one that was far more realistic and true to life so I wanted to actually use my sea surface to light the environment below. So got my sea surface and I've got a light which represents the sun and when that light shines through created a sort of transparent texture from it so when the light hits it it'll spread to whatever I've put underneath and be able to light that with a caustic pattern. So as you can see from this example which is a really really early example um, I just needed to check out whether or not my sea surface once the light hits it would be able to create a caustic pattern underneath which it's doing. So this needs some refinement to be able to get it right and then we have to play around with the height and basically the speed of the waves but because I've created a real wave I can control these and even when things pass on top like the boat that'll distort the pattern which is what we really need it to do. So in the upcoming weeks I'm going to be refining this more as well as marrying it together with the underwater set the actual underwater environment itself so this will include things like particle effects so you have like bits of stuff floating around on the water and plant life moving and all together hopefully should create a really realistic underwater environment that when we put our actors in would be un indistinguishable from real um, to reality before I sign off this week I want to give one big shout out to our fellow filmmaker friend Ashley Wing and his new film Fracture so there's a link underneath this video and I advise you all to check it out because it's looking fantastic and it's had some really, really talented individuals working on it and the final product is going to look amazing. So check it out and see what the project's about and give them all our support. So that's all from me this week and hopefully be catching you guys sometime soon.